Welcome to the Sake booth here at Productronica. Delighted to be joined by Yara Neuhauser. Good to see you, Yara. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, yeah. So, some big announcements this week uh, around the, the X-ray front, uh, because you've launched uh, an inline X-ray, uh, which is quite ambitious, uh, that keeps up with line speed. And that's as much as I'm going to say about it. I'll let you sort of dive into the detail and explain a bit how the system works. Indeed, you, you're right. We release the new generation of the X-ray system. Uh, this is the machine which keeps the same image quality as we are known for in the market. Okay. So there is no compromises on the image quality itself, but we were able to speed it up speed mm -hmm. significantly. So at the moment we are uh, able to capture the image uh, with less than three seconds per field of view. Really? Without compromising the image quality, which makes the machine close to a cycle time of the line. Right, right. So, so to do that, you must have uh, presumably uh, greatly increased the, 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 the power of the, the tube uh, that you're using to inspect it with. Well, actually, what, what we did, uh, we have included a new detector, which is having higher sensitivity, so better mm -hmm. signal to noise ratio. Yeah. And as we are able to capture the time in uh, faster, uh, faster time, or faster, mm -hmm. Uh, then also the dose which we or dosage which we exposed to the PCB is significantly lower, so we were able to oh. lower it down by fifty percent. Oh, so that's also a good benefit. That's a good benefit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, okay, and um, so what size of tube is actually in it? Uh, we are using the one hundred ten kV tube, okay. uh, but with very good focal spots. It's for micro focal spot, which uh, mm -hmm. makes the uh, image with a high resolution mm -hmm. and very deep. Right. So in combination with this new flat pan detector and a lot of development work uh, mm -hmm. for the data processing and data crunching during the CT reconstruction, yeah. uh, we were able to reach the same image quality as for the previous uh, systems. Wow. So uh, there is no trade-off uh, right. at the moment. And so uh, we are still able to keep a full 3D information with the volumetric calculations, with all of the decoration which I used to see. Well, you know, that, that, that's significant, Yara, because, of course, the problem used, you know, has been with, with, with inline X-ray is maintaining the same image quality that you'll get from a standalone. Uh, so if you're able to achieve that, 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 that that's, that's really uh, quite something. Uh, what is the model number that you're talking about here? Uh, we are talking about 3XI M110. Okay. Uh, so this is, this is the standard machine for the PCB assemblies inspection. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we also have the higher or bigger brother of this machine, which is called the 3XI M200, okay. which is more dedicated to the power metals inspection. Or the, or the large 5G boards and that sort of thing? Uh, it's, it's, it's more about the power modules and uh, uh, yeah, the, this kind of power electronics. And okay. Higher power to penetrate the substrates. I see, because the thicker substrates and there's bigger devices on the board. Especially these days, you are having a lot of heat sinks uh, in there, which are having uh, fin pins and so on. Right. So uh, that's challenging. Uh, yes. To, to penetrate and even to, to filter them out and to, to make the good inspection of the layer by layer, because mm -hmm. these days we are having a multi-layer substrates. Mm -hmm. But our technology is very strong in that. So good. To good. filter out uh, good. these kind of artifacts. So, so what's the maximum board size that it will that take? Uh, we can handle the boards up to 510 times 360 uh, mm -hmm. in the width, uh, millimeters, uh, which complies with, uh, with the majority of the, of the applications we have. But yeah. uh, at the same time, we are working on the bigger model, uh, which might come soon. Okay, okay, great. Great, so that's, that's the, uh, the new inline X-ray system. Um, I believe you, you also had already introduced a couple of upgrades on, on the AOI. Can you just refresh your memory on, on, on yes, that? Yes, exactly. We are releasing a um, machine called LS3. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's actually fourth generation of our AOI. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, two, uh, two machines, so one for the high speed. So mm -hmm. wherever we need to have a really, really high pace of the production where we keep it up, Right. Uh, we can use a 15 micron, which I believe is one of the fastest in the market at the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you need a high resolution, uh, we have the model with 8 micron uh, per pixel. Of course, from the other uh, performances and uh, other other features, uh, we have the same measurement range of 25 millimeters and all of the technologies which, which you use to have a CFL actually. Right, right. Okay, that's great. So, I mean, we had a little talk before we started on around the topic of AI. I mean, is that something that you're going to be introducing or working on going forward? We are, we are working on the uh, function. One of, one of those is AI Assist. So we mm -hmm. are trying to uh, decrease the workload for the operators and to, to automate, uh, let's say, decisions uh, or review the images again 
to make sure that the operator didn't make a mistake. Right. And or filter out the uh, findings which are really clear that that's, right. that that's a mistake on the judgment. Mm -hmm. So that, that's coming soon. Uh, but one of our very important um, activity is to make a common program for all of the SMT line. So we are actually merging the program methods for SPI, AOI and AXI, mm -hmm. not only for the program preparation, but also for the data outputs. Okay. So connect them to the same systems, to have the same structures, to uh, have only one program for all of the SMT lines, so that every machine is taking whatever necessary for the SPI inspection or AXI inspection. So basically Automate. simplifying everything really. Simplify everything yeah, yeah. Only one programming station which actually makes everything. Yeah, simple. it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we look forward to that. So, uh, and, you know, for now I want to say thank you for showing us the new AXI system. And, uh, you know, we'll look forward to catching up in the future. Thank you very much, Trevor. For micro dispensing, there is one product line that is proven and trusted by manufacturers in semiconductor packaging electronics assembly, medical device, and electromechanical assembly the world over. DL Technology, superior pumps and needles for the finer things in life.